So how do we coach it? Well, here's a good example of it. Look at the top of the screen. A guy named Azizo Jalari uh, plays for the, the New York Giants now. Back bumps to his side. I'm going to go to the butt shot because it gives a really good example of it. Right? He starts off as a high gear player, backs away from him. Now he's a low gear player, backs to him. So now you can see he gets in surf mechanics. Want to have a really good base, right? Don't click my heels. You can see Aziz is not running up the line of scrimmage. He's staying at the line of scrimmage. And now he's in position to play, right? The outside half of the zone, which happens to be the quarterback here, and then the inside half for the pitch. So here he puts himself in position to be able to do both. Inside out, down the line, still in position to make a play. All right, here's an example of us drilling that same drill in practice with Aziz. Right, down block arc. By right, inside hat, you can see he doesn't run up the field, stay at the line of scrimmage. If the ball's handed, I can play the ball. So here you can see ball's handed off, he gets to play the zone. If the ball's kept, we're going to see the mesh, and now he can play back down the line for the mesh. Right? Same thought, bro. Now we got a DB doing it, right? Because it's no different for a DB than a defensive end. Richard LeCount, same thing, surf mechanics. Surf, quarterback keeps it, right? And he's able to play it inside out. Here's us working the same drill here at the University of Oregon. So we have an inside blitzer, a guy that we call a crash blitzer. So he's crashing and he's going until he hears glass breaking, right? And then we have an outside blitzer. The outside blitzer is that defensive end. So he's working surf technique, down the line, squeeze, back down the line, inside out, tackling the cue, right? Another example of it, working with a defensive end, crash blitzer, surf blitzer, right? Down the line, Ben, right? Outside blitzer, surf mechanics, Inside out for the pull, right? Big keys again, not running up the field, not getting up the line of scrimmage, by right? Being able to play it from inside out. So we have a couple of different examples of that. Now, here's a good example of the backs now away from me, right? Running backs away, quarterbacks giving me his back. I'm the blitzing, I'm the blitzing DB, back away. Now we want to coach to bend, right? We think that's an opportunity to create a TFL. So now instead of surfing at the line of scrimmage, if I don't get a block from that tackle, I'm going to look, to bend and make a TFL. And, you know, we, we keep track of uh, havoc right here. You know, that's the percentage of plays you're going to have a TFL, force fumble, PBU, or interception. But one of the number one ways we can create havoc plays is the way that we coach our blitz mechanics. So here you can see us again working surf mechanics with the, out, uh, the inside linebackers, right? And then just different ways to drill it. We're getting into it to a surf, right? Back down the line, right? And a couple examples of us of us working those techniques. So up top now here, backs to the star. Our star's blitzing up top. So we want to get into surf mechanics. I just became the defensive end, right? So I'm surfing at the line of scrimmage. And again, we feel like this gives us the best chance if the ball is handed, we can show up, make a play on the ball. If the ball is kept, then we we're able to play inside out on the quarterback and, and work the finish. And I'm showing all this because I think this is just as important as talking about you know, simulated pressures and how you coach it is what's the technique to the side of the back? What's the technique away? And I don't think people coach it enough. All right, so now it's a different guy doing it. Now we're talking about, you know, N'Kobe Dean, Buckus Award winner. We're running a blitz uh, path to the, to the field. He's got a back to him, right? So the back's to him. So he's thinking, hey, to the side of the back, I'm in a surf technique. So here you can see at the line of scrimmage, instead of climbing up the field, like a lot of people do, he stays at the line of scrimmage. And now he's able to play inside out on the quarterback as a blitzer. I'll give you another look at the butt shot. So Nakobe's blitzing off the edge. Right? We got a crash blitzer here with Trayvon Walker. He's crashing. Right? Basically exactly what we just showed you with Oregon. Right? Now we're surfing at the line of scrimmage. First man avoids. Now I'm playing inside out. Same drill we're trying to recreate. Here's a look uh, of us here at Oregon. Same thought. <coughs> All right, so now we're mm, blitzing at the top of the screen. No Sewell to the side of the back. Back to me, surf. And again, we see the mesh, put ourselves in position to where we can play surf mechanics, play down the line, and show up and be in position to make a play. Square at the line, see the mesh, ball's handed, make a play at the line. All right, another look. All right, now back away again. We're talking back away. Now this is an opportunity to bend. And I think you have to find examples to show us to your players. So here's a good look again to Kobe Dean. He's away from the running back. If this tackle fans to Nakobe, then he's going to set a hard edge on the tackle. If the tackle blocks the defensive end, 
Now Nicobe has an opportunity for a TFL on a backaway bend pass. So that's what you can see he does right here. Backaway bend, TFL. A couple examples of us doing that um, here at Georgia. Now we're sending a corner pressure. So it applies to everybody in our defense. Hey, the back's away from me. TFL opportunity. Backaway bend. Show up. Opportunity for a TFL or a no game play. Right? Another look here. Okay, we're blitzing the star from up top. Mark Webb, it's a couple years ago. The back's away from Mark. So he's thinking back away bend, right? So instead of running up the line, you can see he's running down the line. He gets his eyes in front of him, right? When he has action away and he's able to see the reverse. So he climbs, puts himself in position for the reverse, able to create obviously a negative play there in that game.